we wouldn't be sitting here now at this table d discussing, you know, everything that we've discussed if we didn't love Dad. You know, we, we would have shoved him in a home mm. by now and just said, see ya, wouldn't want to be ya, yeah. you know. But yeah. I mean, you know, we do love him, we do care about him, and we obviously care about yes. his happiness in yeah. the, the, you know, the last years of his yeah. life. Just like thousands of others across Britain, this family is working out how to look after an elderly parent. Now is the time that the family have got to consider every option. Mm. Got to start the ball rolling now yeah. and decide oh, which, which you know, them. what our options are and, and which avenue we decide to take, what's going to be the, the best thing for Dad. But there's one thing about this family that's completely unlike any other. Their elderly parent is comedy legend Norman Wisdom. Morning, Normie. Come on, come on, breakfast. <laughs> Let's put your pillow behind you. Bring him in. Hello. What are you doing there? They're filming you for a documentary, and it's not just a Norman Wisdom the star, it's Norman Wisdom the man. Right? Boy. Oh, okay, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> well, get out of it. <laughs> I usually do comedy. Don't laugh at me, cos I'm a fool. I know it's true, yes, I'm a fool. For the last 30 years, Norman Wisdom has lived on the Isle of Man. 300 miles away from his Sussex-based family. He's currently looked after there by his former PA, Anne Axe. <laughs> the best bit of the job, that he's a lovely man. But then I, I love Norman as well. I mean, I wouldn't be here if I didn't, cause, <laughs> would I? But he's quite capable of getting himself ready. Ready then, that's all right. Yeah, okay, darling. But Anne is 68 herself and looking after Norman isn't getting any easier. Now, just be careful, Norman. Hold on to the side. Oh, he's naughty. He's naughty. He used to be naughty in the old days. <laughs> We've just got a few to do. Anne's given notice that she can no longer do the job all year round. That means that within the next few weeks, someone else will have to step into her shoes. Cooking, doing the laundry, driving, and being an ever-available audience for Norman's jokes. Oh, bless you. As well as arranging the signing of box sets of his 18 comedy films for select members of the Norman Wisdom fan club. Style, uh, a stitch in time is, is one. Square peg. Trouble in store. Tough. Oh, what do you want to do? Show us some of your pictures and some of your memorabilia. Who's that with? Oh. Laurel and Hardy. Me <laughs> and my bird. That's my, that's my son. And that's my daughter. And, and that's me. Yes. <laughs> I'll go and have a tune on the piano, Norman. I can't play. Because Norman's memory is starting to fail, it's been suggested that he should go into a home. But his children have had a better idea. One of them could go to the Isle of Man to look after him. There's only one problem. Which one? Can you imagine his son or daughter looking after him full time? No. <laughs> no. It's difficult for Jackie to go to the island because she's in the middle of a divorce settlement. And besides, she's not sure that Norman and her living together is a very good idea. He is very self-obsessed. I mean, you've seen the size of that blooming picture in, in, over on the Isle of Man, that, if that fell on someone, or it could fall on ten people and kill them all, couldn't it? It's that big. 
Because unfortunately, we're not chalk and cheese, we're chalk and chalk or cheese and cheese. And um, I'm afraid we sort of just like... <laughs> Norman's sports retailer son, Nick, also has his reasons for not going. If you took the shop, my shop away from me, I suppose I could have done. Um, no, of course I couldn't. <laughs> no, it would have been all... Well, I've got to cook for him and I mean, he'd have been complaining. Because he he's one of these people that tells everybody how to cook, but he can't cook himself. And he likes to get his own way, and usually does. That leaves only one possible solution, Nick's wife and Norman's daughter-in-law, Kim. It really is a privilege. It's just so funny. I just really, really enjoy being with somebody that is able to communicate through humour. It's, um, it's lovely. So what they've decided is Kim will leave her husband and 12-year-old son, Greg, and move in with Norman. Jackie will leave her home and move in with Nick. Nick will say goodbye to his wife and live with his sister. Greg will say goodbye to his mum and be looked after by his aunt. And Norman will stay exactly where he is. Norman, let's clear up the drive. Yeah. 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 OK, then. Come on, let's put your shoes on. You can put them on yourself, can't you? <laughs> right up until her very last day, Anne keeps strictly to everything in Norman's routine, including his early afternoon drive. I'd, I'd like to take this opportunity of saying thanks awfully for looking at me and um, have a happy time. And I'm going now. Bye-bye. That's to the blokes and for the birds, it's oh, tada! <laughs> Come on, hurry up! Hurry up! Hurry up. <laughs> Hello. Oh, too big for me. Oh, come on, there's only one scoop, but I've got you a big cornet so you don't <laughs> rip it all over the side. Come on, you'll eat that. We're all getting older. Mm. It gets a bit much doing it full time all the time. Because mm. now we're all sharing looking after you. Mm. OK, so when I don't look after you, Kim and Kim, Kimmo looks after you. Yeah. But I miss you, right? Mm, yeah. Miss you like mad. Mm. I'll finish. You finished yet, eh? Have you finished? All right, OK, we're finished, Norman. Tell me when. <laughs> Hurry up. Good. Oh, tell me, Mark, it won't come to that. Hey, that pigeon nicked it, look. Pigeon? Oh. OK, Norman, are you in the bath? Now, I want to tell you something. What? On my word of honour. I know you didn't have a bath yesterday, I did I? yesterday. No, honestly, you didn't, darling. I swear to you on my I own. I know you... Strike me dead. I know, I will it strike bath. you dead? Darling, you just thought you did. Honestly, I promise I you, you did. didn't. I did, I know. You did not. The bath was full of fluff. How could you have had a bath? It's awful because I know it's difficult to get in and out, and that's why it won't go in. I've got the bathroom and everything. You see, he remembers on his oath he had one yesterday. We know he didn't, don't we? Because it's difficult getting in and out for him. He has to get on his knees, I do believe, to get out. And uh, he's going to get worse, I know. I know it's going to get worse. I don't want him to be upset, because I get upset if he gets upset. <laughs> Oh, good, you've got your eyes open. Darling, the taxi's here. Okay. All you've got to do to take us to the airport, okay. all you've got to do is put your blazer on, get in the front seat of the taxi, strap yourself in and go okay. back to sleep. Hi, Anne. Hi. Take care. You Thank too. you so much for looking out. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah. And, and, and he wouldn't go in the bath this morning. He had got it all run. And then he said he'd been in. But he said he'd been in and the towel was wet. But okay. He does go in and out quick, but he does not because he struggles. Don't worry. How was the match? Oh, yes, he lost. Oh, no. 
badly? Oh, that's not too bad then. While Kim is on the island, I step into her shoes. It's affected Greggy, obviously. You know, he's not seeing his mum anymore, is he? It was a shock. I think it, it, it hit hard for him. When, when the time came and Kim did drive off, he was, you know, welling up with tears and I just said, do you want to cuddle? And he said yes. And I mean, there's no way I can take place of his mum, but I'll do the best I can. Kim out! Kim out! I think what you, you have to do is when you come here, you have to understand that you have to dedicate all your time to Norman. Take a step in the right direction. Turn your eyes to the skies of blue. You if the signpost know. should say you'll be okay. happy that way, <laughs> that's the way for Naughty you. Naughty boy. Take a step no, man. Right I'm very privileged to be here and looking after him. It's wonderful to be able to spend so much time with him. Smile to the sun and you'll find that it's fun no, for the sun Look. will smile back at you. Quite assertive, but Norman has got me wrapped around his little finger. He really has. There it is. I don't know. Certainly, I do things for him that I'd never do for my husband. <laughs> Kim Ho! Come in, please, quick! Quick! Please! Not Come here. What? Can you tell them to shove off? Tell them to shove off. Yeah, oh my goodness! <laughs> oh my goodness! I can actually. I know how to do it. The plan is that Kim will spend five to six months of the year with Norman, most of it on the Isle of Man. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen cows come in like this into the garden. On this occasion, Kim is on her own with Norman for six weeks until Greg and Nick come to pay a visit. Got them. <laughs> After a month without Kim, the family in Sussex are beginning to feel the strain. Oh dear, Nick, I think your fish fry's a bit burnt. It's not burnt completely, well, it, Nick, but it, like, it was frozen, so I don't want it to be... It's got a bit of a crust on it, isn't oh, it? No, but you... But just, just put it in the bottom. Just stick it in there. It's so chewy. Thank you. Greggy, when you feel hungry, what do you fancy? Oh, I'll just have a cheese sandwich. Cheese sandwich. What's your, um, what's your Auntie Jackie's cooking like, then? Um, Watch it. Not as good as my mum. No, but... we know that, thank you. <laughs> Talk about rubbing my nose in it. I think four weeks now. It's quite strange not um, her being around and that. It's quite, it's quite a bit difficult, but um, handling it okay. Um, I, I was um, upset, but it, I was okay in the end. You understood why, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. Because of granddad. I'm, I'm sure he feels that, I mean, he's never said it to me, but I'm sure he feels that it should be me out there and not his mum. And I can understand that. But, I've, you know, both Kim and I have tried to explain to him that, you know, with certain things that are going on in my life at the moment, I, I cannot be there. Kim out! Kim out! Where are we going? We're going to Peel for an ice cream. Are we? Yep. Are you coming with us? Yes. Ice cream? Yes. Good though. Okay. I'll pay. Here that you get ice creams for free. Free people. <laughs> One, two, three, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Although Norman was stopped from driving when he failed his test a few years ago, he's lost none of his conviction that he could do better than whoever is behind the wheel. You want to get the peel, you said? Yeah. That's right, I'll tell you what happened. Well, that's what I'm worried about. <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you. Go through that lane. That's what, lovely. here? Uh, yeah, here. Right. I don't know this way. Do okay, you know this way? Turn right there. Do you know this way, Norman? What do? What do you? 
And then now we up to there. And uh, it's nice, I like it. But are we going to peel this way? To, yeah. Yeah? Well, that way you want to go to peel. Yeah. We... Uh, this is the way. He gets driven around every day. That's his love. He loves to be driven around the country with no particular destination. Um, <clears throat> um, and of course, because his memory's not quite what it was, he can't remember how long he's been out for. And um, Kim has to say, look, you know, I'll draw the line under two and a half hours. That we're not going anymore. But he, he, he probably thinks he's only been out for half an hour. Where are we, Northern? <laughs> We've never been this way before. We're sort of lost somewhere. You've been this way dozens of times. <laughs> I'm just telling you that you're not going the longest way around. You're going the quickest way, and I'm showing you how to do it. Okay. Oh, they're left here. Right. Left. Left. So, forgive me, but I'm going to take notice left. of the signs rather than you. What? This is the quickest way. No, it's not. <laughs> it is. No, shut your cob. <laughs> 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 you made me smile when I was younger. Your films. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. One of the reasons his children are so keen to keep Norman on the Isle of Man is that he enjoys a recognition here that he would never receive in England. He still likes being in the public eye, that's for sure. Um, I think he needs to be in the public eye, actually. Um, you know, he always knows when a camera's on him. You know, he sort of comes to life a little bit then. Paddy, typical old man you are. Come here. Jackie's increasingly aware that the family would like her to share the caring role with Kim, but she can't go to the island right now. As well as the problem of her living with her dad, there's also another problem her living without her dog. You're the best boy. He's 13 years old, he'll be 14 on May the 24th, and he is absolutely my little soldier. I love him to bits. He's, he's been with me through good times and bad times, and I think I probably need him more than he needs me, quite honestly. He is a beautiful boy. Love you, don't I? And you know it. As you push your luck, oh yes you do, yes you do. Hudson is an old boy. I love him to bits, and I don't know how much longer he's got. A lot of me. I'll tell you what, he'd love it over there. He might, but you've got to get him over there, Nick. He's he's hardly going to go into the undercarriage of an aircraft at his age. It would be hard for him. He's an old boy. Well, While I was over there. Out there for him. The fact is, Nick, is that it, it, it's it would never work, and I'm not prepared to abandon my dog, who's been with me through the good times and the bad. You Nick. wouldn't know he's flying. He'd just up you go, and in an hour's time, he's, he's landed oh, on the... You could do that. He'd be fine. Oh, Nick, give him. I love him. I love Dad as well. But, um, you know, that is it. And the only yeah. people that it does affect is Anne yeah. and Kim, yeah. and they've said, that's fine. And, you know, so that is it. No, I believe no, I me. Just Come made, back, Kim. I just made an observation oh, that the dog would like it out there. He would love it That's out there, I but said. it's getting him out no, there that I would know. be a problem. I know, Plus, I know that. Dad... Couldn't fly. Kimo! Kimo! I take him his breakfast at 9 o'clock. Then he'll come downstairs, uh, coffee and one biscuit, <laughs> only one biscuit. <laughs> he wants more, but uh, I make him a full lunch. Usually he has a little nap afterwards and then we go for our drive. Come back and then we watch the boxing or the snooker. <laughs> the downside is the isolation. Six weeks on the island have taken a toll. But Kim is set on coming back as often as she's needed, so long as Norman is physically fit. Hello. 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 Oh, oh hi, Greggy. It's Mummy. Hi. How are you, darling? I'm fine. How are you? I'm good. Can't wait to see you, darling. Mm, no, can I? looking forward to it? Yeah, I really am. Yeah, oh, excellent. Grandad's looking forward to it too. Well, okay then, I won't say. I'll speak to you later. Okay. Bye, darling. Bye. I love you. Love you too. Bye, darling. Bye. Bye. Bye.
40. Already, this is by far Maguire's highest break. He's looking up at the scoreboard there. He's working out what he's going to need. Tomorrow, we're, we're going to go to the airport to meet Gregory and Nick. He has stuck on them. I can't wait. I can't wait to see my husband and my little boy. Yeah. That's feel like a long time. Yeah. Yeah, it has, yeah. The plan is for Greg and Nick to stay on the Isle of Man for half term and then for the family to bring Norman back to Sussex. They're coming along here, aren't they? Stop, stop playing to the public and think of your family. <laughs> Come on. 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 Come Jolly good. Yeah. Love this thing. Yeah. Oh. So. Family <laughs> hugs. Here we go then. Oh, thank you. I've been um, having lessons for a few years now. Well, you're going to get a good, be a good, good pianist. Yeah. <laughs> Very good pianist. <laughs> Very nice. Very nice. I wish you all the very best of good health and happiness throughout your lovely long lives. <laughs> your very good health. Thank you. I, 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 I love you, of course. Oh, good. But you have done one very soppy thing for me. Really? And what's that? You sold my cars. <laughs> yes. And my motorbike. Yeah. You sold my beautiful Rolls Royce. Yeah, it is the best my, thing I ever did. My very nice Jaguar and my very nice motorbike. And you're still alive. The three. <laughs> yeah, and I wish to God I had them, but I would enjoy them. Well, good. Yeah, but, you know, you, you failed your test, so you, you can't... I did not, I did not fail yeah, my test. Yeah, you failed it. I did not fail my test at all. <laughs> well, I think you clipped the curb a couple of times, didn't you? Oh, you didn't fail my test. No, he, 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 no, he, he was taking the mickey a bit, and I was sitting taking in the, the back and, and messing about. And so I was <laughs> larging about with him. I tell you what, and I'm not kidding you, mm. I am thinking seriously of buying another car. Oh, he's gone. <laughs> Cars. Oh. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> oh. It's making me feel guilty, but I don't feel guilty about it at all, no. actually. I mean, we had so many people mention that he shouldn't be driving and this and that, and, and we did nothing about it, really, for, for some time. And then, in the end, we, we did, we had to. But um, he won't let me forget it, will he? No, no, he won't. But that's the first time he's said that he passed the driving test. But he, he's, always know, he's always known that he's failed it. But driving's his passion. You see, it's the worst thing that's ever happened to Norman. Granddad Norman. Yes. You remember him, don't you, eh? You can forget him, eh, Hubs? Having been looked after by his daughter-in-law on the island, Norman's about to test the other part of the care plan she's arranged for him. Moving into her Sussex family home. Hello. Oh, darling. How are you? Oh. Mm. Mm. Oh. Good to see you. Oh, lovely to see you. You're right. <laughs> oh. Oh. Good flight? Mm. Eventually. Mm? Eventually, you had a good flight? Yes, thank yeah? you. Yeah? You must be starving. No, I'm not. That's a shame. Mm. 
I forgot to ring and say, could you put the tatties oh. in? Oh, <laughs> put the so, tatties in. Yes, my um, culinary skills yeah. coming coming back to me. You remember Hudson, don't you? Hello, Hudson. Hello, Hudson. The beautiful Hello, boy. Hello, Hudson. Hello, Hudson. <laughs> Life is good, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Got to keep you amused, don't we? <laughs> right. Just watch the footy, Dad. Enjoy yourself. Do you want the... Take your shoes off. Do you want the footstool? No, I don't. Do you want a cup of coffee? Not yet, no. No? Right. What are they doing, then? It's a programme about you and what you're doing since you've retired. Well, what am I doing since I've retired? N well, not a lot, which is <coughs> what it's all about, isn't it? Retiring. Uh-huh. Mm. I enjoy life. Well, that's good. Just like to go for nice walks. And drives you like to go for, and I've seen. It drives us all mad. <laughs> I'm not stuff on my motorbike. You what? I'm not stuff on my motorbike. When did you ever last ride your motorbike? <laughs> Only well, uh, uh, just before I was sold. Ah, get out of it! You haven't been on it for years. Of course I had. You did not. Oh, don't be daft. Load of rubbish. Uh, it was rusting yeah. away. It was. All right, please yourself. I uh, will. Just like you do. Norman's officially retired, but his children are aware that he's always needed an audience as much as a family. In spite of having reservations themselves about his celebrity status, they try to enable him to make the occasional public appearance. My agent. <laughs> there we go. What it is today, it's the Encore Magazine Awards. You'll be on my table, we're all sitting together. Danny LaRue's on the table. Oh, goody. Yes. All right, Norman. It's been a long, long time. <laughs> Everybody smiling. Nick and I, for our entire lives, have always lived in Dad's shadow. Always. Haven't we? Um, I mean, I, I feel sometimes like I've never had my own identity. I've never been Jackie Wisdom. Oh, I've, yes. I've been Norman Wisdom's daughter, like you've yeah. been Norman Wisdom's son. I expect that to come my way, but it doesn't worry me at all. Oh, well, it pisses me off. <laughs> it doesn't worry me. I mean, I do... That's I, where I, we differ. I, I have to say, I get a little bit... I get a little bit um, miffed when uh, I'm introduced as Norman Wisdom's son. Mm. Um, because, yes, you know, I'm Nick. Mm. And then you get someone who says, well, actually, I don't like Norman Wisdom. I don't find him very amusing. And I'm just sort of standing there thinking, well, well I'm, be I'm just being introduced. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I, that, that's just, you know. Yeah, it's the way it is. But, that, but it's, the way, it's the way it is. Yeah. Yeah. I, it, I actually admire that person for, for speaking the truth because I've, I've had the complete opposite where I've overheard someone, say I've been at a party or do whatever, and... I've overheard someone saying, oh, that's Norman Wisdom's daughter, and the person that, that's, whoever he's telling has said, oh, I can't stand the man. Mm. And then when I've been introduced to him, he's actually said, oh, I think your father's wonderful. I think, you <laughs> I've just heard you say completely the opposite. And I would actually admire someone yeah. for, for, for telling the truth. We're going to bring Sir Norman up, if he would, because about 50 years ago, uh, he had a letter, received a letter, from Janet. She's been a fan of Norman's for 50 years and she's here now and I think what we'd like to do if Norman is agreeable to just come up on stage and meet uh, Janet. After a few days in Sussex, the rest of the family are coming to understand that Norman is never going to make the job of a carer a particularly easy one. He just seems to be very anti having a bath, and he's convinced he's had one the day before always, but um, yeah. it's, gone on, it's just gone on too long. I've obviously got to nurture him into the bathroom, basically. Yeah. 
Wakey, wakey. Uh, oh, God, <laughs> what are you doing to me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go and run your bath. Oh, God, blimey. <laughs> Come on, then. Day before yesterday. Day before yesterday, yeah. Go on. Come on, you're stalling. I, I know you, you're stalling now. Oh, tell me, I'll give you my word of honour, I will go in the bath. Let's get in the bath. How often do you have a bath? To, to me? Yeah. I have a shower every day. Eh? Yes. Honestly? Yeah. yeah. I have about 30 showers to your one bath at the moment. How about that? <laughs> Well, he's got to put all his shaving kit away and, you know, every little piece and, and all nicely zipped up and it just takes forever. But is he getting in the he's bathroom? He's in the bathroom. He's in there? He's in the bathroom, Did yeah. Did you hear him getting in the bath? No. No. Right. Well, I, I mean, he will get in. I'm sure he'll get in, actually. Mm. Oh, all right. Nick, he has been known to pull out the plug and let the water out. You all right, Dad? Yeah. You in yet? You, you're, you, you okay to get in by yourself? Yeah. All right. It's taking to take all day, this, isn't it? Yeah, it does. Oh, no, he's not in yet, no. no. But he will get in. Where are you going now? I'm going up now. Have a look. <laughs> he's in the bath. How about that? Oh, well, I'm very proud of that. What's happened? He's in the bath. <laughs> oh, well done. Oh. Oh, I can't so we don't have to worry for another month now, do we? <laughs> but shortly before Norman's due to go back to the Isle of Man, his family's care plan receives an unexpected jolt. I heard a thump upstairs and I thought, mm, that, that's odd. So I walked up, knocked on your dad's door, and, you know, are you all right, Normie? Yes, yes, I'm fine. So I thought, well, OK, fair enough, that, that must have been the cat. Mm. So I came down in the kitchen, the door's open, and I hear him shout, Kimo, Kimo! And I go upstairs, and he's staggering out of his mm. bedroom, so I, you know, flew up the mm. stairs. And he said to me, I, I've fallen over five times. This has never happened before. So I keep falling over. Well. Lovely, lovely mm. doctor. He did actually say to me, he said, now is the time that the family have got to consider every option mm. for, for some sort of professional care. You're in the, the position, the insidious position, where you two have to make that decision for him. We know that he chose to be on the Isle of Man. He, he loves that island more than anything. And, and we've got to live with um, whatever decision we make. Yes. And if we drag him away from that, whether he it is, you know, whether he's aware of whether he's in England or the Isle of Man, we know his, his final, his wish Absolutely. was to be on the Isle of Man. Yes. And we have to respect that. Yes. That, uh... Well, you know who the handsome that, That's me. I, I recognise it. That's me, I recognise that. Who's the baby? <laughs> I, I don't know. That's Gregory. Is it Gregory? That's Gregory. Oh, that's Gregory. They yeah, are my, my son's lovely little daughter. Son. <laughs> Son? Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, yes. Yes, yeah, of course you mean that. And who are those handsome couple? Oh, uh, well, I don't know. There's a smashing bird there, eh? <laughs> that's you, isn't it? Yeah. It's very nice. And that's Nick when he had some hair. Nick, very nice, Nick. That's my son. Yes. And you like him, don't you? Oh, I do more than like him. Oh, he, he told <laughs> me that he's, he considered himself to be extremely lucky having oh. you. Oh, that's nice. Well, he never tells me that. <laughs> he might tell you. Well, he wouldn't embarrass you. No, I know. He's lovely. Yeah. Thank you. Hello. <laughs> Oh. You're right. We're going to go and get Greg now. Got to go for a little drive. Get Greg. All right. Where is it? You won't be long. Watch your fingers. Any minute now.
<laughs> Norman, do you know these people? No. <laughs> oh, dear. But they know me. <laughs> Maybe they don't. We're going to get run over if we stay here. Come here. Oh, I thought you'd open it for me. He's only joking. Yeah. Well, you know us, right? You don't know me, do you? No. Eh? You do. Norman, where's Oh, Norman. Who? Oh, Bergstad. Eh? Pardon? Bergstad. Am I what? Bergstad. There you go. Greg? Are you Greg's grandfather? Greg's grandfather? Yeah. Oh, yeah. He doesn't that's know right. you. He doesn't know Norman Wisdom. <laughs> right. But he knows you as Greg's grandfather. That's right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Here he is, Norman. This is Greg. This is Greg. <laughs> Although the family have talked to the doctor about continuing to look after him, they've been told that this won't be possible for much longer. We've come to the decision now that Dad does need specialist care. It, it will be a relief from the point of view that we know Dad's going to be in safe hands. I mean, you know, we're not going to sort of just dump him somewhere. So I think it's just going to give us peace of mind. They've managed to find a home they like on the Isle of Man. In a way, it has to happen, but in a way, we don't want it to happen. It's one of those difficult decisions in life that you have to make it for the right reasons and you have to go with it. You feel like the biggest lump of shit, quite honestly, because we don't, we don't want to do that. It's after the move and Norman's family are discovering that the very thing they struggled so hard to avoid, an old people's home, is the only place Norman could be that comes ready equipped with the one thing he wants most in life, an audience. I know it's true, yes, I'm a fool. You see, he likes his sing-song. You know, this is the right decision. I give the world to share my life. To me, it just couldn't be more perfect. Who really loved me. It's feeding a need in him. I mean, he is a star. Please don't laugh at me, because I'm a fool. BBC Two continues to reminisce this evening. Next, about the late Hollywood great Tony Curtis.